really, I always do that in all my videos. Right, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Monica and I'm a photographer based in New York City. In this channel, you're mostly gonna see me trying out new film stocks, photo walks, and lately, it seems like there's more gear talks. I didn't really plan to talk about gear in this channel, but I did purchase a whole bunch of cameras lately and why not share it, right? So today we're gonna be reviewing Fuji Cardia Mini Elite OP. This was created in 1993 and this features a dual focal length. So the minimum is 28 millimeter focal length and it goes up to 45 millimeter focal length it is compact as you can see and it doesn't take up that much room i really do enjoy this it also comes with panoramic feature i'm gonna do this regular view and panoramic view it doesn't really do much as you can see the power button is on the back this is the shutter release and this is to change the focal length from 28 to 45 there's also the dates which i don't use because if you notice a lot of the old cameras the last year that they offer is 2019 or 19 at the end so it won't be accurate so i never use the date it also has a flash feature it has the red eye reduction the regular flash no flash and backlight flash it's good to have a camera that you can set and control a little bit not just a complete point and shoot you know but i usually just use it on auto because i just don't like to think about the shot i walk around with a point and shoot camera all the time because it alleviates my brain from thinking about what i'm about to shoot it just figure it out for me and then shoot it. This is why I walk around with point and shoots. And then it also has a self timer that allows you to take either one frame, two frames or three frames, especially if you're doing like self portraits and you don't want to keep running back and forth on the camera. You can just tell the camera to take three shots. And then the other one is a landscape button, which I don't use. Like this is such a good point and shoot. It's so easy to use. And it's very compact like i mentioned before this is where you open for the film and it doesn't open all the way if you see this is the bottom and you load it this way with the film facing towards the right and once you insert it you guide the film so it's flat like so look at the number okay You're all set when you take a shot it actually counts it down rather than it tells you how many frames you've shot it tells you how many frames you have left that is the minor downside to this camera because when you load a film you have to wait until the full roll is out of the canister not a big deal breaker for me because i do walk around with at least two cameras in my bag never roll around with just one camera no photographer will advise you to walk around with just one camera i believe right now they're going for 70 or 80 dollars you can get it that cheap but this was a really good top mint and i got it for 154 i believe so yeah if you see this on ebay etsy facebook marketplace mercado let go i don't know grab it snag it use it have fun with it it's just a really good reliable and compact camera before i go this is where the battery is it does take lithium one two three battery these are common nowadays so you don't have to worry i got mine from target Hi guys, I'm filming this after I filmed the initial video um, because I realized I didn't say bye to you guys. So, thank you for watching and um, stay cool, stay chill, and I'll see you guys next week. Do you like
this shirt. My husband illustrated this and printed it on a shirt. It's my favorite.